Hi, it's Mona. For today's project, I have created the background with the quilted backdrop die from light violet canvas textured cardstock. For the other die cuts, I am gonna use Sticky Note, Gold Rush, Speckled Egg Shell, Paper Bag, Cilantro, and Canned Pumpkin cardstock as well. To create the little die cut scene, I have used the Build a Barrel apple dies and the Stitched Cupcake dies as well. This tiny berry is created with the Woodland Critter Huggers Winter Add-on. Because I wanted to make my card cute, I have also used some cute faces from the Gingerbread Friends die set, as well as the Stitched Teacup to the Muffin. The die cutting is done. Now it's time to color with ink blending to make them more lovable. I have chosen the sticky note cardstock to the apples because I wanted to create a golden delicious look-alike apple and for that I needed a light yellow undertone. I am blending all the apple die cut pieces with twisted citron distress oxide ink. Now it's time to make the apples a little shy so, I am blending on them big cheeks with tethered rose distress oxide ink with a cheap watercolor brush. Before I am continuing with the blending, I am adding a few details with brown pencil and white pen as well. When the apples were done, I continued the blending process on the leaves with Mauve Glam Distress Oxide ink. The ink blending process is done, so now it's time to put together the die cut piece elements. Before I am putting everything together, I need to create a sentiment. I have chosen the absolutely awesome set. I am stamping the sentiment with watermark ink to a piece of canned pumpkin cardstock and heat embossing it with white embossing powder. 
I have created one more die cut piece with the reverse stitch scallop dies. And with some speed up magic, the cute card is ready. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!